Dr. Suarez, you mentioned two things there just in the short time that you talked. You talked about the importance of integrity in ministry and the attitude of not just only being blessed, but being a blessing. Why, why is that so important to you? Because I know we're senior ministries now, and why is that so important to you as you talk to younger men and women? It's very important because we represent the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you represent something like Jesus Christ, yes. you have to be careful and you have to reflect in yourself, in your ministry. Mm -hmm. And that's going to reflect to the people who listen to you. Yes. And today, Pastor, like we don't see that. Sometimes I feel like we live in the plastic ministry, mm -hmm. not reality ministry, not serious ministry. Mm -hmm. We try to we try to create things that we don't have in our mind, in our heart, mm -hmm. and that's why the, it's very important uh, the, the 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 ministry that, that that carry that that qualification. In the moment I know you many years ago, yeah, I always see in you a person the ethic, a person that carry respect and dignity. Yeah. Pastor, we're not preaching. It's no more preaching dignity than respect. Mm. Everything is so simple. A ministry is not, it's not simple. What do you think we need to do to get back to that as far as that part of it uh, where ministry, uh, in a sense, carry that sense of dignity because of who they're representing. If, if you were talking, let's say, to a young crop of ministers right now, they're just beginning, mm -hmm. and they ask you, Dr. Suarez, how do we keep ourselves in a place where we keep the ministry dignified and proper in representing the Lord? What would you say to them? Number, number one, you have to recognize who Jesus Christ is. Okay. Because in the in the final, mm -hmm. we're preaching Jesus Christ. Yes. So me being a, a ministry that uh, that I want to grow, mm -hmm. I can put my mind in anybody else. Yes. For the reason that Jesus Christ had all the qualification. Yes. And that's why when you go to the New Testament, you, and you see Jesus deal with people. You see Jesus different. Yes. And today, Pastor, we we losing a lot of the look and feeling mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. And because that happened today, who's the young minister, it's like debating sometimes. You know, they don't dividing sometimes. They don't you know, how we can do it. Mm -hmm. I did it. You did it. Yeah. You've been in the ministry so many years. I've been in the ministry so many years. We never change. And, uh, and the ministry that want to do something for the kingdom, the potential is in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't you believe that? Yes. Each person got the potential, and the potential is in his soul. Yeah. And he, he didn't put the looking to the kingdom. And look, Jesus Christ, a person that carries so much respect, you're never going to get it. Yeah. I, I totally agree with you because as you were speaking, I thought about the passage that Michelle and I really at least one of them that we that we built our ministry together which has been now for a little more than three years mm -hmm. uh, and that is matthew 6 and 33 mm -hmm. if you first seek the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness then all the other will be added to you it's, it's now the way yeah see we all to, but pastor today the ministry is with in bible yeah. Yes. 
everything is plastic. Yeah. Everything is like the like you don't feel something that you've been feeling. Yeah. And and that's the situation. Pastor and and you know you've been a minister so many years and you grow no different. Today, we're living in in the final day. Mm -hmm. Today, we're living in, in two, two personalities, God and evil. Mm. Why? Because you know, we, we, we live in the time of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, we the more close we go to Jesus and knowing, they're going to be worse. Yes. Yeah. And the ministry today, no respect, mm. and we don't, we don't see any more, any more marrow. All those big men who did big thing for the kingdom today is, is different. Yeah, and and today we had to create a way that can bring that back. Yeah, yeah, and I feel. We might get it, but I think Jesus Christ gonna arrive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's up to again, senior men like yourself, uh -huh. myself, and others uh -huh. who have maintained that integrity. Mm -hmm. Number one, to love the Scripture, uh -huh. uh, to to yield to the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm to not fight his dealings in our lives because all of us, the Lord deals with all of mm -hmm. us. But those are life lessons that we can communicate to younger men and women to make sure that if we do have to leave this earth, okay, that the kingdom will be left in good hands because sure. that's, that's exactly what Jesus did. When he left, he left it with 11 men because, you know, we know one of them didn't survive. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But they were able to carry it forth with integrity, with honor, and they were sound in the scripture. Well, you know, they, they see the way Jesus uh, reflect and he was doing for the, for the good of the disciple. Yeah. And you know, uh, and Jesus Christ, he was a, he was a model in, in teaching. Yes. It's, it's, it's not so many good teaching today. Mm -hmm. It's not too many ministry paying the price. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything is plastic. Yeah. Everything is moral. Yeah. Everything is easy. Yes. You know, to me, be in my position and you being in the position, so yeah. we pay the we pay the price. Yes. So yes. yes. We suffer. Yes. So. We dedicate time and cry and tell Jesus to help us. Yes. Because we are human. Yes. You know, we, you know, but but we don't want to feel that and say, oh, I'm a human and, and because I'm a human, I, I can't make it. There's no way. Yeah. No way. No way. We could make it. Yes, we can. And all those ministers that are growing up today, they can make it. Yes. They can make it, but the potential is in the cell. Mm -hmm. You want to be somebody, you can do it through yes. Jesus Christ. Yes, absolutely. So, well, Pastor, what a blessing. Yes. I feel like I'm in the university talking to the high profile. <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> <laughs> right yes. So, yes. it's my pleasure, man, and you make my day. Um, and you, and and you have such a beautiful wife. Yes, and I, I do. And, and when I saw your wife, I didn't see, I didn't see the, only the beauty. Well, what I see is a, 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 a talent and, and and help for you. Yeah, absolutely. And that now I see you. You sit down, and, and she do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, I tell you, she's got so many. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful gifts in there, Dr. Suarez. Uh, Man, you are. I'm amazed at, the, yeah. you know, just the grace of God yeah. working through. Yeah, I got one in my house. Yeah. I got one in my house. She's been with me 
uh, 57 years. Oh, look. And she's, that's a great testimony. Uh, and right she's, there. Uh, and she do good. And she's maintain her beauty. Yes. And she maintain her respect and she maintain all the qualification that the lady need yes. to survive in this time. Yes. My bless you. Thank you. Well, thank you for being with us. I've just enjoyed this. And I've, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have Dr. Suarez back with us. And the two of us are going to have a good hour conversation right here at Powerhouse Studios. And we're, we're going to share experiences. We're going to share the word. But our intent is to be a blessing to you. So thank you for being with us. 